Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. All right, so I've drilled a hole in this uh, piece here with the hole saw, and guess what? Not quite big enough. And now I can just take a die grinder and round it up just a little bit. It looks like it's about ten thousandths too, too uh, small. So we're going to go over to the mill. I'm going to show you how I'm going to answer that problem. Be right okay, back. well, the way we're cutting the hole is with the Lennox uh, hole saw. And uh, that works very well, except for this particular saw is just a bit small on the, on the uh, cut. So what I've done is I've come in with a piece of uh, about 15,000 shim stock, and I've just put it in one of the jaws of the chuck and that's going to throw this thing off center just a little bit hopefully enough to be able to cut a hole and make it big enough okay you ready to give it a try All right, let's give it a try. That might not be far enough away. Let's move you over a little bit and bring it over there and bring this down to there. And that's gonna give us what we want. Fingers crossed. Come on. I'm almost there. Just probably just a little bit of cleanup on that line and uh, just a quick circle with the die grinder and we'll have it. So that's good for now. One more, or no, we got a about three or four more and we'll be okay back. well next on the list is this little fitting right here with a hole through it and the chain comes in and connects to that fitting there so what I'm gonna do is you know I could actually come in from there huh? hmm. no it's not quite tall enough I think I'm gonna go down to this bottom area and then come over to the to the piece of channel and uh, on the newer version, the channel is a lot more straight up and down. So it'll slide right in there and it'll be like right in that area. So what I have to do now is drill a hole. And we're going to go find the right drill bit.
All right, well, we're looking at this little piece of Delrin and a retainer clip that goes right on the outside of it. Hang on a second. Get the cap off of my marking pen. Oh, look at that. It sits by itself. So we are now at 20, 25. That's how many parts we've processed so far. Okay, then we come over here. And we might mark all six of these pieces with a 25. Of course, the pen is leaking. All right, we're going to do the rest off camera because I can't hold All right, well, this here. is the next part of this project. These are holes in the carriage, and I'm assuming they're holes so that rocks and dirt and all that stuff can kind of get out of there. And uh, somebody cut these by hand, and they did a pretty good job of it for hand. And uh, But we're going to cut it on the pattern torch. So let's swing over there. Reap over to the pattern torch. We've already set up a circle. So we're going to do a, a series of four half circles. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to flip this and come in and do the straight lines to, to, uh, to complete that. So we'll be back soon. Good deal, we've got them cut. Certainly not as fast as a um, plasma table, but it gets the job done. Turn off our tanks. Yeah, that, that one just dropped. And that one drop after just a little bit of messing with it okay and it, it came out pretty clean a couple of places where I made a little mistake but uh, you know we're not looking at super clean here uh, we're looking at holes so dirt can go down and that was fun so we're off and I'm going to go into town and get a little lunch.
so we'll see you later. Well, Nick Collier here again, and man, you really got to check this out. It is sweet. It turns out, apparently, this machine works really good with thicker metal. Uh, thin metal, it has trouble with, and you know, and maybe it's just me and I have to figure it out. But thick metal, man, it just cuts it like butter. So check this out. All right, well, you can kind of see our line right there. And we'll be cutting that. Okay, ready? Let's rip it. There it is. Let me show you the edge of this. This like just blows your mind. Blows my mind at least. You know, maybe you're not so easily impressed. But check out that edge. I mean, there's no dross whatsoever. Look at that. Oh man, that is so sweet. Plus, I got a nice scrap for some kind of artistic environment here. All right, so we continue. Wasn't that just the coolest thing? Oh man, I am so excited. So, uh, we're off and running. We've got to cut uh, two holes in the center here. Uh, and uh, so first thing we have to do is make the hole, uh, what would it be called? Uh, the guide that goes up above on the machine. So, uh, we're going to fiddle with that and we'll be back. Okay, well, you recognize the pattern. I did that in in paper. Um, and instead of doing around, which later on you'll see why, because uh, whoever did this did a round piece of angle iron, and I just don't have the equipment to do that. I decided, well, hey, let's just cut a 45 off. We've got the same size. Uh, the same gear is going to go inside of here. I'll show you the gear. <clears throat> the gear goes like right about there. So that is still in good shape. And we don't have to worry about making angle iron a circle. And it doesn't matter to him one way or the other. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we have to do is find out where our two holes are going to go. This is the gear, and this is the motor. And uh, we've already made a single bracket. Now the holes, as you can see, 
whoever made this I mean they basically hand cut this out with a torch it's like every every step I go on this process I'm amazed at how this guy actually or these guys uh, actually assembled this but uh, yeah here it is so uh, what we'll do is there's a seal bracket here and a seal goes into this slot right there and this little bracket here is the motor bracket so what I think I'm gonna do is make the uh, the plate hole bigger just slightly maybe quarter inch and uh, and then cut this hole get everything all set put the gear in place get the motor in here and then we'll be able to adjust our valve or our uh, gear tooth lash uh, by lifting and, and lowering the motor and then once it's where it wants to be just weld this bracket in place and we're done well not done but doneer so what we want to do here is measure and looks like we're at nine inches exactly okay so that takes us to the bottom of the seal let's see here let's go to nine and 400 So we have to come up with a five and a half inch hole and a five inch hole. And we're going to go over to my hole stash first and see if there's possibly something there. And just in, in the short amount of time that I've been actually operating this thing, I've come up with a ton of, of circles and holes and whatever else is going on here. So we want a five and a half inch hole which means it's got to be five and a half inches on the inside boy that's close that's very close that could actually do it and one thing I've learned is uh, the little uh, pins up on top and let's see if we can find one that the uh, that the um, the follower tracks on there's a real thin one and there's a little bit thicker one can you see that yeah um, you know and, and there's an electromagnet that magnetizes this and this thing just kind of rolls along and tracks the the uh, the cutting tip well you know the other day I was just slightly off with a with the the uh, diameter of the hole so I just made a thicker pin and I think if I use this pin here I think we might actually be just about exactly right, where well, we the first thing I want to do is find my center line right and since I've already worked it out on the paper and this thing is just about exactly what we want there's our center line right there okay and we can just run a center line right up there we go that gets us going We'll take it right on up 
may as well. There we go. Now we want to come up one five foot fifty. One five fifty would be right there. And then five and a half inches. Would be there. And to the bottom of the other one is nine three hundred. there and then five inches there we go ourselves at the far end of the uh, the cutting tip and then move this thing which weighs a ton and I think we should move it a little further So there's center line and the bottom of the circle. Now let's take it to the top of the circle and see where we're at. Well, we're pretty close. Might be a bit big. We have to we may have to make another follower all right and so that wants to move down just a little bit yeah, it's right on the money. All right, well, we before we do anything else, we need to drill a hole in here so that we can get a good start going. And that uh, means we take it over to the either the drill press or the mill and cut some holes. All right. Well, well we're we going to drill a hole for this this one, bottom one and the top one, and it doesn't really matter where the hole goes as long as it's a hole.
All right, well, we got one drilled, and I drilled it dry because we're going to be cutting on this, and the last thing I want is a bunch of oil on it. <clears throat> so, uh, we have two more to do. We'll be back. All right, well, so I've got myself marked out here, and uh, I'm going to find that center. I put a little center punch mark in there. Put my pen in my big uh, compass here. And give myself a circle, the one that I'm going to cut. That looks pretty good. So, now let's bring our, our torch in, set up our bottom line. That's about right. And then come over and get a sideline. A little bit over. Uh, bottom again. Yep. Side. And we're just going to kind of even it out. And top. And just a little bit. Good. It's going to be slightly bigger than the five and a half which is great because uh, remember we're going to put that uh, we're going to put the sleeve in behind it and weld that in and we want to have that adjustment to get the uh, the uh, teeth latch in properly so I think we're ready to cut Let's do a run just just to check it out. We're sitting at two. Looks like it might just be a little bit over sideways. That's better. That looks like it. Now we're going to set it up and blow our first hole. Well, first one in this plate. First of three. Okay. Glasses. My oxygen was low, damn it. Alright, we're going to switch over to my other oxygen bottle. We'll start here again and bring it back to there. We'll Alright, let's try this again. Ready?
Okay, well that's not too bad. Let's take this one up and bring the next one in. All right, hole number two, we got one more. <laughs> 